GestureScript is a tool for creating Unistroke Gesture Recognizer. It enhances example-based tools with declarative user guidance through rendering scripts and interactively trained parts. In this video, we will show how to use GestureScript to create an accurate recognizer for seven Unistroke gestures. Like example-based tools, GestureScript allows developers to create a recognizer by simply providing examples for each gesture category. Here, we first create a new gesture category called Arrow 1 for an arrow gesture. We then add four examples by performing them on the gesture canvas. Similarly, we can create a second category called Arrow 2 for a different type of arrows. And at any time in gesture script, we can validate the current recognizer by clicking the blue validation button on the top left, which performs a 10-fold cross-validation and shows the corresponding accuracy next to each gesture category. Following the same procedure, we can quickly create all seven gesture categories from examples. Here, the arrow gesture can point to any direction. The spring gestures can have arbitrary number of repetitions. And the placement of circles in gesture WO and OO is arbitrary. However, in this case, the accuracy from the cross-validation is only 68%. Unlike example-based tools, GestureScript allows developers to describe useful structural information using rendering scripts in addition to the examples. For example, for gesture WO, we can write a rendering script to tell the system that the gesture can be performed by three parts. First, draw a W, followed by a line, and then a circle. We can click on the Refresh button, and GestureScript will learn the shapes of these parts from the example gestures we have collected. Due to the large hypothesis space and the small number of examples, GestureScript does not always find the correct shapes. When an error happens, a developer can provide a direct example for a specific part to help GestureScript in learning. While each gesture category can have its own script, the parts in these scripts share a global namespace and thus are shared between categories. For example, in gesture OO, we can reuse the circle and the line part first used in gesture WO. Because these two parts are already learned, after we type in the script, the examples of gesture OO are already segmented according to the script. For gesture arrow 2, we can describe it as a sequence of four lines. For gesture arrow 3, we can reuse the line part and introduce a new arc part and then update. For gesture spring 2, we can use the command repeat to tell the system that the middle part coil can repeat multiple times. In addition to providing a shape for a part to help learning, we can manually add a segmentation point in an example gesture. Once the shapes of the parts are learned, GestureScript can synthesize new gestures from the rendering script for developers to incorporate into their training data. For example, here we add some different springs synthesized by GestureScript to the Spring 2 gesture. We can also reject some examples to get a system to synthesize better examples. This way, we can quickly incorporate more examples and variants in our training. Finally, we can specify gesture attributes in the rendering scripts, such as the direction of a line or the number of repetitions. Adding gesture attributes won't affect the accuracy of the recognizer, but the recognizer will extract their values and developers will be able to use them in their applications. After the previous steps, the cross-validation accuracy of our recognizer has increased to 98%. We can test out the recognizer 
and the attribute extraction in the testing interface. The upper left corner in the testing window shows the recognized gesture category and the values of the corresponding gesture attributes. For example, here we perform a spring one gesture with six repetitions and a spring two gesture with three repetitions. Another spring two gesture with five repetitions. This is Gesture Script. It demonstrates that enhancing example based gesture tools with interactive user guidance can preserve the low threshold of example based tools while raising the ceiling of the recognizers created in such tools.